Hey there, Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot. I'm gonna do a quick review and par test the new HLG 100 LED Grow Light from Horticulture Lighting Group. The Horticulture Lighting Group HLG 100 LED Grow Light draws right around 100 watts from the wall. It measures 32.5 by 28 centimeters. A large meanwhile driver is screwed to the top of the light and powers the PCB beneath it. The fixture is designed to replace a 200 watt T5, 250 watt CFL, or 200 watt metal halide or HPS grow light. The HLG100 uses 192 top bin Samsung LM561C S6 diodes. The PAR efficacy of the unit is right around 2.3 micromoles per joule, and the PPF output is measured at 225 micromoles per second. The HLG100 draws right around 96 watts at the wall. The driver is rated for 100 to 240 volts AC. If used in another country, it'll need a plug adapter since it comes with a US three-prong power cord and plug. The HLG100 Spectrum is full spectrum white and it's available in 3000K or 4000K from us. 3000K is best for flowering while 4000K is best for veg. If you're using this light for a full cycle grow, we suggest a 3000K version for the best yields, but some growers prefer 4000K if they want to focus on quality over yields. Hanging height varies on application. For supplemental light, you may want to hang this fixture at about 18 inches to 36 inches. When used as a primary fixture, you can hang it as low as 12 inches for the highest intensity. The recommended flower footprint of this light is 3 to about 4 square feet, while the veg footprint is rated at around 6 to about 9 square feet. This light only uses 100 watts, so even at the very best efficiencies, you'll not be maxing out the par values that your plants can accept. In the given coverage areas, you will have a medium to low intensity flower and veg. I tested the PPFD of this fixture in a reflective 4x4 grow tent. Let's see those readings now. Right in the middle, we are at 177 PPFD. And off to the edge, looks like just above 100. And then to this other edge, it's above 100 also. I'm making about a 3x3 three three square, just because this is in a larger area and this light is not really meant for a larger area. So at this height, it would be perfect for supplemental light. And the next reading is gonna be at 18 inches. So just under 300 PPFD. Now this would be an ideal veg height. Off to the edge, about 150, and into the corner, which is always the lowest spot, look like 70 something. And then the other edge, about 115, and coming back to the center, just about 300. So more intensity in the middle, a little bit less on the edges just because you're starting to get a little bit closer to the bottom of the tent. All right, some pretty good numbers here. And the final reading is at 12 inches above the bottom of the tent. So this is where the light really shines, so to speak. So check out that par reading. Now your footprint's gonna be smaller, but you're gonna have higher intensities throughout that entire footprint. So that's why you don't wanna go larger than about three to maybe four square feet for flower. All right, and to the corner, it's pretty low there. And off to this edge, it's pretty low. So you wanna keep it in about a two by two, maybe smaller than a two by two area for flower. But for 100 watts, I mean, this light really shines. Quite pleased with the numbers. Okay, let's wrap it up. In the very rare case that you have a problem with this fixture, the HLG100 fixture comes with a one-year manufacturer's warranty. The MSRP on the HLG100 is only $149, with free shipping in the lower 48 states and no tax. So, if you want to learn more or purchase the HLG100 LED grow light, click the link in the description and give this video a like and comment to let us know what you think about it. And if you want more content like this, subscribe to us on YouTube or Vimeo. Happy growing!